Writing long reports. Hi, I'm Bill Carmody. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about writing long reports. The first thing is know your audience. What do they want? All too often we write reports from our own individual perspective, what we wanna share with somebody else. What's most important is to know your audience and what they want, so you can write a report that's useful to them. Number two, be clear on your outcome. Why are you writing this report? What is the outcome you wanna seek from the report? Are you looking to get an alignment? Do you want to have agreement on a decision? Are you looking for funding? Are you looking for an approval? Be very clear on your outcome when writing this report. Then write the executive summary last, even though it's first in the report. You do this because as you've written the long report, you'll come back to the executive summary to make sure that it has all the salient, most important points, even if they don't read the rest of the report. And then from that perspective, you wanna make sure you're summarizing the most important points, not just in the executive summary, but as you're writing the rest of the report, here's what this section is gonna talk about, then talk about it, then summarize at the end, here's what we just discussed. Tell the whole story, include alternative and contrarian points of view, for your report to be taken seriously, you need to not just say, here's what you believe, but here's what alternative viewpoints are, and you're fairly covering them so they can, so that someone else who has a different perspective can see that you've taken the time to, to accurately reflect what they believe. Have a clear recommendation and next steps. So having come through all the research, all the interviews, all the conversation points, whatever you've done in your report, what's your clear recommendation? What are the next steps coming out of this? Proofread before sharing. Typos and poor grammar negatively impact the perception, the perceived value of the report. And it's a not fair, but it is true. If someone's seeing a lot of typos and grammatical errors, they don't put a lot of faith into what you're recommending. So if you want to make sure that you have credibility, that's a simple way to make sure that your language is not only concise, but accurate. And lastly, Share, share with key influencers and decision makers before broad distribution. What that means is when you're going to put a report together, make sure that all the people that can both champion your report and actually attack it have had a chance to review it ahead of time. Now that might sound counterintuitive. If someone basically you don't think is gonna support the report, you can say, what arguments have I not made in this? What would be your counterpoint to this report? What are more important things that you wanna make sure get, get elevated in this report? And therefore it's fair and balanced and people can actually make the best decision for themselves. That's how you write a very effective long report.